I'm like literally still in my pajamas. That's how much I don't want to be making this video. <laughs> no, not that I don't want to make it. I don't, I, uh, I've been dreading it. Um, this has been my most controversial series yet, and yet it has also been my most popular series. So, let's do, um, Ozempic month three update. I'm gonna try to keep this short because I've gone over a lot of things already in my previous videos. If you haven't watched my first and second Ozempic videos, go watch them now. Uh, TLDR, pre-diabetic, got prescribed it from my doctor. I'm not using Ozempic for weight loss myself. Why is that in the title? Because that's what the algorithm likes. I'm just being honest. I've gone over a lot with the Ozempic already. My first month and second month kind of updates were just learning about the drug and its effects on my body, the way that I wasn't getting hunger cues at all and then feeling really tired and not realizing what was going on because I just literally was forgetting to eat. How I kind of remedied that by introducing um, protein shakes into my daily routine um, in my coffee and things like that. Um, and then last month I had just begun when I did my two month update, I had just gone from 0.25 milligrams a week to 0.5 milligrams a week. And I had done my first injection of that and I had said that upping the dosage, the injection site, I got more pain. I didn't feel any pain the first month. The second month, I started to feel pain with the extra dosage and that has continued to be true. I have done 0.5 milligrams. I think yesterday was my fifth week of 0.5 and I still have injection site pain. Um, thankfully, a lot of you have been really helpful in the comments. Someone told me to switch around where I'm doing the injection, which I wasn't doing before, um, so that helped. But I also think that the higher dosage sort of burns more as well. I definitely feel a burn when I inject the medication that I didn't feel with just the 0.25 milligrams. But it's 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 really quick. It's like as you're injecting it, you feel a little burn and then it's over. It's like when you get a piercing. Like you feel it while they're piercing you and then as soon as the piercing is done, you forget about it. Um, so that's been that. As far as um, hunger and things like that, it's been pretty much the same throughout this whole thing. I've just gotten a better handle on it. Actually, it's funny because in the first month, I take it on Tuesdays. Today is Wednesday, and in the first month, I wouldn't feel hungry at all on Wednesdays. I wouldn't get a hunger cue at all. Um, I'm actually, I just woke up, but I am feeling hungry right now. So, um, funny that uh, I guess my body is just getting used to it, which is a good thing um, for me, honestly, because I love eating. Uh, not eating for a while really sucks. Let's see, what else? I think my last update I gave you guys at two months, I had lost weight, which I know everybody's here to learn about. Um, I was at the 15 pound mark, I think? Maybe? I don't remember. I think Go back and watch that video. I think it was the 15 pound mark. I don't really track my weight like that well, to be completely honest, because it's triggering for me. But I do know that whatever I was at the last time I weighed myself for one of these videos, I've lost four more pounds. So it's a total of 19 pounds, I think, um, since I started the medication which is all fun and dandy. Again, it's not the reason I'm on it. I know it's a reason a lot of people are on it, hence the controversy and the uh, the interest in the topic. I don't know, I feel like I've made my thoughts on everything pretty clear. I have really enjoyed, honestly, the comment section of these videos, except for the people who are mean. Like, just, we can have discourse, just be kind about it. I feel like I've learned a lot about Ozempic, uh, medication for pre-diabetics, medication for weight loss, um, lots of people helping each other out in the comments, and 
I, my stance on it hasn't changed. I think that there are medical necessities for certain medications beyond just diabetes. I don't think it's right that people like the Kardashians and the TikTok girlies are actively seeking out Ozempic specifically for weight loss when they don't need it. They don't have comorbidities. They don't have anything that says that they need it. I did have my first uh, run-in with the shortage, um, but it didn't last long. I, I got a call last week. This is my new prescription. I got a call last week from my pharmacy saying that it was out of stock and that they would call me when it came in. And I was like, okay, well, I mean, everyone says there's a shortage, so that makes sense. And then like two days later, they called me and said it was ready. So I don't know. Something I was thinking about though, um, I didn't realize in my first month that even though I was on 0.25 milligrams, the pen still had two milligrams worth of medicine in it. So that technically could have lasted me two months, but I didn't think about it. And I threw it out when I got my new prescription. So like, is that possibly part of the shortage that doctors aren't telling you like, you're gonna get a new prescription in 30 days, but like keep using the original pen? Or maybe it goes bad. I don't really know. See, this I'm not an expert. Don't listen to me. I'm I'm literally questioning because a lot of you are a lot smarter than me. Um, so yeah, I did realize that I threw out like half a pen's worth of um medicine in the first month. Who knows if that's what I was supposed to do or not? But um, it's just interesting. I continue to be fascinated by it. Uh, I continue to find it fascinating that some people are able to get it and some people aren't. For me, I'm just happy to have a doctor who, really a nurse practitioner, who is willing to treat problems before they become big problems. That is what I have to say about that. I'm gonna end with another controversial hot take right now. I miss when everybody was wearing masks. I have not gotten this sick this often since 2019. Can we bring masks back, please, during cold and flu season? Because I am, I am fucking struggling, bro. And that is my Ozempic three-month update. Like I said, I honestly, genuinely have really been enjoying the conversations we've been having about this. I feel like I've been learning so much. Um, lots of people helping people out in the comments. Uh, just please keep it kind. Um, I know people have big opinions on this. Um, we can have opinions, we can have discourse, we, I don't want meanness and negativity. If we can avoid that, that would be great um, for my mental health because I have to read all the comments, whether I respond to them or not. Um, so yeah, that is it. We're moving into December tomorrow and well, it'll be December by the time this video is up, but yeah, I'm still very tired. This was, this is, this is draining. I'll see you very soon, somewhere around here, maybe here, maybe there, maybe in there, in my next video. Bye!